So not long ago, I uploaded a video about my newish Linux experience. Now I say newish because it's not my first time messing around with Linux programs. Uh, I'll probably go in depth with this in another video, but basically, if you're new here, I found Linux through Chrome OS. And the virtual machine, I believe, or some are saying that it is actually Chrome OS that is on Linux. Whatever have you, that is my introduction into Linux. Uh, that is why videos on the channel about how to enable Linux and how to get Linux apps on your Chromebook. But it's been brewing around for some time about going to a full Linux desktop. I said in a video I made earlier that my beautiful Linux failure, because sadly that did end in a failure. And shout out to all you who commented on that video. I think that's going to be my most common videos I ever have made and give me advice about what went wrong and what I should do about it. Uh, I believe a number of you brought up the secure boot as one of my problems. Uh, I believe it was a problem. And to everyone who wanted me to exchange my hard drive for an SSD. I want to say that that was done prior to me getting the computer. I don't know how old the computer is. It was refurbished when I got it. I wanted a good deal. Uh, so it has a terabyte of SSD. So it does not have, I believe the original you know, hard disk drive that it probably originally came with. It does have SSD. And like I said before, 16 gigabytes of RAM to go with it and a Core i5. So it's still older, not a powerhouse, but it can run the programs just fine. And I highlight one of these comments that, uh, <laughs> I laughed when I read this, uh, said that it's good that it did not install because buying a ISO from eBay is just wrong. I guess that was my bad. I, again, I wanted the easiest as possible. And I guess I thought it was worth the 20 bucks. But I did follow his suggestion because I did get a capable, you know, boot drive out of it. Not that I could use the ISOs that are on the drive. I had to make a new one, which I followed the example. And I think numerous of you have made that suggestion. And I said, okay, I'm just going to do it myself. I follow the steps, so you'll see it in the video after I stop talking. And I'll say in the video, I decided to go for my first full Linux distro with Ubuntu. I did some research and I said in the video prior, Mint looks good. In fact, Mint might be what I will recommend for my mother, who's I'm in, in charge of her operating systems. Her computer is getting old, it's getting slow. Um, and it definitely can't go to Windows 11, so I have to make that call for her as well. But for this video, this is finally killing the Windows 10 and moving over to Linux. So without further ado, so oh, I will say that uh, you won't see every step that I'm making because as I am trying to put Linux onto the computer, I'm also off camera following someone step by step and what I'm doing right and wrong, that sort of thing. So forgive me if there are some steps that are missing and some of it is obviously because there's personal information being shared, but I have to assume if you're watching this video, you already done this. I'm the noob, not you. So thank you all again for your comments and uh, suggestions. And let's, uh, let's get into this. And so we're at it again. This time, I um, believe I want to settle with Ubuntu. I know that, oh my goodness. All right. Discord keeps wanting to start back in. Okay. So I know that between the two Linux distros, Mint and Ubuntu are set for anybody who wants to get into Linux. I did like Mint from what I can tell, but again, I said this in the last video is that's great. If you're coming from windows, 
I'm like I said, I haven't really been on Windows in over two years. So it being very familiar to Windows is relevant to me as that's not my operating system choice now. Even if this does work out, it's still my operating system of choice that we use mostly still gonna be probably Chrome OS. However, I got a little just want to tinker a little bit. And from what I saw about Ubuntu, I did like what it had to offer. My drive does not work anymore. And hopefully this does. Now, which one of these do I go to? Uh, and let me just try this. Oh, like this. Again. All right. So let's uh, see what we can do here. Good sign so far. Okay. All right. So we uh, recognize this. Let's do this real quick. Try it or install it. Let's just install it. All right, so I did not include every little step, uh, you know, some personal information and such, but I think I'm ready to just go ahead and install it. And again, I am choosing just to erase everything and just start anew. All right. And I, hopefully this works. I don't believe I got this far when I was attempting to use the other installation. I will say this looks like it's going better than last time. Um, I can get to the internet already. So already this is you know, looking a good sign. And the reason why I'm not showing every step besides you know this person information being entered just decided that i'm actually going to watch somebody step by step set up ubuntu because i am a noob and okay and this would be a slideshow showing me was that gimp or blender and i'm interested how these apps are going to run on my system Credit my Chromebook is newer spec than uh, my Dell laptop, but I know that a lot of the power of Linux is that it can run on a lot of older hardware and run very efficiently. So let's, I'm not thinking about Steam. I mean, I might try, but there are some apps that don't run my Chromebook at all. So OBS Studio is one of those. And I'm curious, you know, what am I missing? All right. So I don't know how long this installation is going to take. So I'm going to skip through the video and hopefully the next screen you'll see is it installed. Okay. So it says that it is ready to install my restarts. Problem is now last time when I restarted the computer, restarted windows. Let's, uh, hopefully this won't end in failure. Restart. No time, no time. All right. So I've gotten this before. Please remove the installation medium, then press enter. All right, so here we go again. I am removing the drive and supposedly press enter. Hopefully it's not going to be a Windows logo and I didn't fail again. I went in and go like you're going to this thing this is i was told to encrypt the disk right, so it says i'm set up successfully i'll be glad when i get to the actual desktop hopefully i don't want to wait long wait hold on maybe i'll spoke too soon okay that's my name all right windows is dead and again 
I never got this far because every time I was in the this row, it was off the drive and I was told I don't need this. Okay. All right. We're really happy now. Uh, we got into Ubuntu and these are the, the apps that I now can access to. Be sure and there we pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna play with this because I just got a new operating system. This game I did. Uh, so I guess welcome to Linux uh, for me. Uh, so I'm gonna, I guess like again, I'm gonna go play with this a little bit and uh, I'll see you next time. But uh, hooray, I, I got Linux now. I got Ubuntu. All right, so I have Linux now. Now, as I'm recording this video, it has been around a week or so uh, with me running a full Linux desktop. Now, if you want to see, maybe I'll do a update video about how it's going, uh, the pros and cons that I found are running a full Linux desktop. Let me know down in the comments if that is something that you are interested in watching. But you know what? I try to take the easy way out and it turns out uh, just kind of doing yourself was well, not as hard and complicated as I thought it was going to be. I feel like I should do a video about the misconceptions I had about Linux. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Thank you if you hung around this long. I'll see you next time or I'm just, you know what? You, the community has been really great. Uh, let me know what you want to see. Uh, I did see some of your video comments about distro versus that distro, including gaming. Uh, I do a whole other video about gaming on Linux and my plans on that front. But again, that'll do it for today. I'll see you. You think I'm ready for Arch?